Hello everyone, this video we will look at the add-on, Samba and the fill edit of the Home Assistant. This is mostly used for uh, software for Home Assistant. So before we begin to use the Home Assistant, we need to know what is the Samba and what is the file edit uh, from the add-on. The first one, what is the Samba? Uh, this is a software tool realize the network file sharing. Uh, you can think that is very like as an FTP toy. Because this is Raspberry Pi inside, there are many files and photos on the Home Assistant uh, in eMMC. So if your Windows, uh, your computer want to download the file from the box, and you want to upload your files to the box, so you need to use the Samba, this tool, to, for file transmission. So. Now we will look at uh, what is the Samba and uh, how it uh, installed and working. And we can see this is our dashboard of Home Assistant. And the last video we have installed this Home Assistant. And now there is empty. So we can click the configuration and you can see the supervised item. There is an the add-on. Uh, you, you just think this is a plugin. And we can click and you can see uh, there are no any add-on installed because it's new so we can click this button and uh, you can search and input this add-on store uh, name and you can search uh, but we can see this samba list at here so we can just click and uh, click this install button so that will install online and uh, wait for a moment that will be completely installed and we can back to see this note uh, before Samba start, you need to configuration the username and the password because this is for safety and uh, not need everyone can change your files uh, from Raspberry Pi. And we can back to the Home Assistant. You can see this is install complete, but this time you not to start firstly. You need to configuration firstly. So there are the username and the password. And the username you can change it by yourself. And I can input uh, Kinkone. And the password I can input for the demo. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, press the save. Uh, you can change by yourself as uh, the username and the password. And press save. And back to this info. And we can click the start. Now the samba is running. Uh, here is the monitor. And this time we can open this window and uh, at this item, we can input the IP address of the Raspberry Pi of the server. If you don't know what's your IP address of your Raspberry Pi, you can go to your load and just loading. And I can see uh, what's in Home Assistant, the IP address. This is my IP address. So I can input uh, this IP address at here. We can input slash slash IP address of Raspberry Pi and enter. Uh, you will see uh, this window uh, have showed all the photos of the Raspberry Pi because uh, I have already logged. If you the first time enter the IP address, you will see a message windows that need to input your username and the password. So this time the windows have already saved my IP address of the username and the password. So you can see these six photos. That's the six photos uh, you can see here I have said, what is this bill's uh, information? You can see uh, this is the first one, the config. And this config is Home Assistant configuration melee directory. We can see uh, there are many files uh, that will be usually used for this photo, like this uh, configuration yaml file and some logo file and some database and some other information uh, saved on this config photo and the second you can see there's a backup uh, this is a backup now it's empty because sometimes the system will store some backup content and the fields and the ssl that is ssl that is store the private key and the certificate file of encrypted transmission. That will be for website to use for uh, 
LAN for and for WAN for remote use by internet for SSL. And the media, this is a media file. Uh, now it also is empty, so you can uh, send your MP3 and MP4 video or audio file for this folder, so that the MIDI player can play the music and play the TV on this folder. And this is add-on. Uh, this add-on that is for development uh, that also usually for the software engineer that can make local add-on and save the file to this store. And the last one is the show. Uh, this shared uh, uh, content uh, for this folder. Uh, this is shared. So you can uh, upload any files and photos on this uh, folder. Uh, not it's a speech uh, folder. Just uh, save the file uh, for yourself. OK. Uh, this is the six photos of the Raspberry Pi and for the Home Assistant have installed. And next, we will look at what is add-on. The add-on is also a software running parallel with the Home Assistant core. Uh, this, uh, we can see this is a plugin uh, for the Home Assistant, but it's an independently software or application running with the Home Assistant. So the add-on can be installed, start, and configured uh, through the Home Assistant supervised. So we can see uh, we can management the add-on, you can see, uh, by the supervise of the Home Assistant. And sometimes the add-on is generally associated with the Home Assistant, and sometimes is uh, no any link of this. Okay, this is a summary uh, for the management of the file uh, from upload and download. And uh, in this window, you can You can download uh, the file or upload the file uh, just like use your Windows PC. It's very easy. And then next, we will look at the file edit. Uh, this is an add-on. Uh, it's also very useful. We can back to the Home Assistant and uh, go to the add-on. And we can click add-on and stop. And we can see uh, this is a file edit. The file editor we can install, press this button. Uh, it's very easy to change the code like this. You can change the code online, not need to download the file to your computer and change it and upload it to the Raspberry Pi. You just you can edit uh, the file content online. So not need to download, upload, download, upload, just change the file on the Raspberry Pi directly. So after the after it install complete, I will show you how it works. Okay, now it's complete, uh, so we can, uh, before we click the start, we can see these functions. Uh, this is start on put just the Raspberry Pi or our server board is power on, it will auto start. We can enable it, and this is watchdog, that will be auto uh, begin if it crashed, after it crashed. Uh, you can open it, uh, that is for the watchdog. And the show in sidebar that you can, if you can enable this, uh, you will see uh, the, this uh, file edit will display on this win this window. You can see I can enable this. You can see uh, this file edit is displayed. That will be easy to find this function. So we can click start, and now it began to running, and we can click this file edit. And you can change the folder. Uh, click this uh, icon. Uh, you can see this is now is in the configure folder. You can see many files. The most useful uh, file is this configuration.yaml file. Uh, that is for Home Assistant, mainly the configure file. And also you can uh, go to parent uh, folder, but can't change it because uh, for the safety program, you can see. We, you can change the setting configuration. Uh, you can see uh, this is in force uh, base pass. If you can change to force and save and restart the add-on, so we can click the file edit 
And this time you can click this uh, browser file system and you can back, you can see all the photos you can, you can see displayed. Uh, many, many, many all files have displayed uh, that for safety program so that uh, we can set the file edit uh, only show your config photo. So if you are administrator or you are, you are a programmer, uh, you can see all the files, you can change anything. So about the safety program, I can set the settings uh, for false, uh, for true. And the save and the restart. And now you can see file edit with format, it start up. And you can see this only in the config. So that is safety for everyone to uh, don't change something important files. Okay, uh, this is how to use the Samba toys and the file edit. Okay, thanks for watching.